Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be a continuation of my recommendations based on Colours of the Rainbow for book covers and today will be green covers. The first book that I'm going to recommend is a book that I have loved, it's an author that I've mentioned before and mentioned before in this series and that is The Green Mile by Stephen King. This is based in a prison in Maine, New England, um, in America, and it follows the supernatural happenings uh, with um, a prisoner who can try and turn things around to stop them from having happened and to take bad things from people. And it's just, it's a moral about love for me. Um, and kindness um because it is what comes through to me the messages that come through to me is is just be kind to each other because you never know what someone what that one person could do for you and i thoroughly enjoyed it this is a long-term favorite of mine it is a long-term adaptation favorite of mine i love the movie as well as the book and I just I just really really enjoy it. It's not one that I've reread often. Um but it is one that I would really like to reread again um and reread soon. Um and yeah, I I have really enjoyed it in the past and I look forward to enjoying it again in the future. The next book that I'm going to recommend and as I've done in previous videos, this is actually going to be illustrative of a series rather than the individual book itself. Um but the book that I'm going to put up is Fury of Seduction by Corrine Callahan. This book is part of a series about dragon shifters. It's a romance novel, again, set in Northern America somewhere. Can't quite remember where, um, but it's around um, dragon shifters who have to find their one true mate so that they can have children and survive. There are two separate factions of dragons who are warring with each other at war with each other um so we have we're following the good guys however she has started branching out and she started to give one or two of the bad guys um redemption stories so i'm looking forward to reading more of those um she's also branched out and she's set a series of books um in the highlands with a scottish dragon pack so those are really enjoyable as well um and yeah i'm just really really enjoyed reading them um there's one due out fairly soon uh, at the point that i'm filming this there's another one due out soon uh i'm not very far behind with the series i've only got a couple of books to actually read to catch up but yeah i just really really enjoy this book and i look forward to her doing more in future she's had quite a long break in releases um but yeah i'm looking forward to reading more books from her going forward because she seems to be on a roll with her writing at the moment. The next book I'm going to recommend is the first book in a series and that is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is the first book in her Remnant Chronicles. This book follows Leah who is a princess and at the start of this book she is betrothed to marry a prince from a neighbouring kingdom to secure a political alliance. She isn't happy about this so she runs away with her best friend and maid. They are pursued by an assassin and by her would-be husband. You get five points of view in this book. So you get the point of view of Leah herself, you get the point of view of the assassin and you get the point of view of her would-be husband. Alongside those two you also get two young men's point of view. Now one of those is the assassin and one of those is the would-be husband. But you don't know which one they are until the end of the book. So it follows the two of them. I really enjoyed this when I read it. I actually enjoyed it better than I read than the rest of the series. I think because you had the premise of not knowing who was who. Um, and they were both wooing Leah. They were both falling in love with Leah. Leah was falling in love with both of them. Um, and yeah, it was just absolutely brilliant. It was a great opener to a, uh, to a fantasy series. I did enjoy the rest of the series um, and I do want to reread them because I actually listened to them on audio. So 
I don't think I actually got everything I could have out of the book, especially from the last book. I think there was lots that I didn't pick up on because I was re listening to them as I was walking to work. Um, lots of traffic noise. But this was a great series starter and I really thoroughly enjoyed it, especially towards the end um, when you then start finding out who exactly everybody is. So do give this one a go if you like YA fantasy or if you want a good entry into fantasy. And the next book that I'm going to recommend is a short story and this is called A Grim Holiday by M.K. Edom. This is a book um, set in an already established world. It's a follow-up novella to um, a book called Grimm. It's science fiction romance and it's based around a character called Grimm and um, his mate Lisa who is human. Grimm is from an alien world where women or females of the species are in short supply and they've recently found out that a neighbouring species of alien is able to mate with humans quite accidentally. Humans have no idea about the rest of these races that are out there in the world and Lisa is kidnapped from Earth because it's believed that she doesn't have um, a significant male other in her life or any other responsibilities not realising that she has children. Um, and Grimm rescues her and also agrees to take her children as well, even though that wasn't part of what was supposed to be happening. This story follows on from their happy ever after, um, and it's just a sweet little short story based around uh, Lisa's two children and them meeting... Um, and then them teaching Grimm about Christmas, basically. It's a Christmas-based novel. It's really sweet, really funny, really enjoyed it. Um, again, this author hasn't written very much recently, at least not in this world. I haven't read any of her other um, series. She writes quite a few different series, uh, science fiction romances. Um, I haven't read many more of these, and I really would like to read more of them in the future. And then the next recommendation I'm going to make is... Um, based on an entire series. I'm going to put one of the books up here and I'm going to put up Deadly Decisions by Kathy Rikes. This is one of the early books in her Temperance Brennan series. If you've watched the TV series Bones, um, then hopefully you realise that actually this is the book series that inspired the TV show. It's not necessarily based on the books. Um, there are just elements of it. Temperance Brennan is a forensic pathologist um, and she she's an anthropologist as well, I think. Um, and she looks into the history. So she deals with a lot of cases where the bones are quite old or have been buried for some time, um, encased in ice, uh, lots of different um, things like that. Uh, not just new cases. Um, most of them are are old cases or difficult cases um, as well. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed this. I started reading them when I was in my early 20s. My sister gave me the first book um, as a birthday present, I think. And then I quickly um, caught up with the books that were out and then was collecting them as they were released in hardback. And I thoroughly enjoyed them. I've fallen behind with the series uh, quite a bit. I think I might have gotten a little bit burnt out. But again, at the point that I stopped reading, I was in a pretty hefty book slump and I wasn't reading physical books at that time. Um, and then I, I branched out into uh, romance rather than reading anything else that I was reading because I just couldn't face those sorts of books anymore. Um, but yes, I thoroughly enjoyed them and I do recommend this series. It's a little bit gory in some of the descriptions. Kathy Rikes actually has um, a basis in this. She's writing what she notes, especially in the early books. They are based on cases that she previously worked. Um, so yes, yeah, so I do really enjoy them. And if you want a good crime fiction, um, if in the UK you watch Silent Witness, um, this might be a book series for you if you've not uh not discovered it before or i think uh patricia cornwell scarpetta series um this is kind of along the similar lines to that uh so yeah so i do thoroughly recommend them so those were my recommendations based on the books having green covers 
uh, have you read any of them or what recommendations do you have for books with green covers yourself please let me know in the comments down below I'd love to chat with you there if you haven't already then please give this video a like and if you've not already then please subscribe to the channel and I put videos up every Monday at 6 30 p.m uk time and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye Thank you.